Hello friends, this video on whole numbers part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us in a similar way look at subtraction on number line. Let's say that you want to subtract 6 from 11. So it is 11 from which you want to subtract, subtract 6. So the first thing we need to do is we need to locate 11. Where is 11? This is 11. Now we want to subtract a number from 11. So which side we will move? Now we had learned before that greater numbers are present on the right hand side. So basically when we are adding, we will move on the right hand side. Because when we are adding something to a number, we are actually increasing the value of the number. Let's say if I add 2 to 11, that means we are increasing the value of the number. So we will move to the right hand side. So we will make the jumps on the right hand side. That is why you saw that during addition we jumped on the right hand side. Now in this case we are subtracting something, we are reducing something from 11. So basically we are going towards a smaller number. So it is very obvious that since we are subtracted, subtracting 6 from 11, so the result is going to be something which is lesser than 11 because we are reducing 6 from 11. So this time we will move towards the left hand side. And how many jumps we will make? 6 jumps. So let's make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 jumps from 11 and where do we reach? We reach at 5. So this shows that 11 minus 6 would be 5. So basically while we add or subtract on a number line, we just need to remember a very simple concept. That first you locate a number to which you want to add or from which you want to subtract. If you want to add something, jump towards the right. If you want to subtract something, jump towards the left. Simple? Yeah. So one simple way to remember this is GR. So you want greater number, move towards right. You want smaller number, move towards left. So greater and smaller, greater, the word greater, GR, E-A-T-E-R. So greater and smaller. So you want greater number, move towards right. You want smaller number, move towards left. Now how about multiplication on number line? How do we multiply on a number line? This is also going to be very interesting. So let's say you want to multiply 2 and 5. 2 into 5 would be how much? So first thing is we want to multiply 2. What does, what does this mean? 2 into 5 means what? It means that basically 2 is added 5 times. So 2 into 5 is just another way of writing 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Now writing this is tedious and complicated. So to write it in a simpler way, we write it like this. Let's see if we write 10 into 2. What does that mean? That this basically means 10 plus 10 that means we are adding 10 two times now when I say 2 into 5 that means we are adding 2 5 times so that is the meaning of it so for this which point do we want to locate we do not want to locate any point it just says that 2 needs to be added for 5 times so you can start from anywhere so let us start from 0 so let's say we will start from 0. Now 2 needs to be added 5 times. So the first time when you add 2. So to what will you add 2? You will add to 0. Right? Because initially nothing is given. So the first time you add 2, you will add it to 0. Now you are adding something. So you will move towards the right. So 1, 2. So this is the first time you added 2. So basically this is your 1 jump in one way you can say that so this is the one time that you have added two how many times you want to add two five times so let's add it second time so you reach at four let's add, let's add it third time you reach at six fourth time you reach at eight fifth time so where do you reach you reach at ten so if you add two for five times then you will reach at 10, which proves that 2 into 5 is 10. 
so basically what we did here is now whenever we are multiplying two things we are basically trying to say that the first letter is being added sec these many times so two is added five times so the first two that you add you have to add that from zero because initially you had nothing so the first time you added a two you again added another two you again added another two so every time you are saying a two that two would correspond to two jumps so that is why you see you are jumping from two to four so you are actually taking two jumps so similarly here you are actually taking two jumps because you are adding two at one time so we located zero then we took five times jumps and each jump correspond to a two and we reached at 10 which proved that 2 into 5 is equal to 10. So this is how we can multiply on a number line. So we saw that how we add, subtract, multiply whole numbers on a number line. Let us now take another example of multiplication because multiplication might sound confusing to a lot of you. So let's say now we want to multiply 4 into 3. Now what is the meaning of 4 into 3? This basically means that 4 is added 3 times. So this actually means 4 plus 4 plus 4. So that means first we will add, we will have to add 4 3 times. So the, we will start from 0. This is 0. So from here we add 4. That means we directly go to 4 here. Now this is just one time that we added 4. Now we have to add like this 4 how many times? 3 times. Let's add 4 second time. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. So basically we will reach here. So 4 is added 2 times. Now the third time is left again 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 is now added for 3 times and where have we reached? We have reached 12. So this shows that 4 into 3 is 12. So here also we made 3 times jump and each jump was for 4. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.